in this topic we are going to talk about one of the issues of staff selection in the international scenario and this particular issue is myth of the global manager usually it is considered that uh, a global manager or an international manager would have a standard personality that person would have a standard uh, set of requirements that person would have a standard understanding about cultural and uh, um, national issues and the diversity issues that are uh, present in different parts of the world so this is a kind of a myth about the global manager and there are four uh, myths that are commonly held about this particular global manager context uh, which become an issue in staff selection of uh, uh people in the international context so the myth number 1 is that there is a universal approach to management it is believed that anybody who is hired in the in a management position and is sent uh to an international location there is a universal approach of management logon ko manage karne ka ek hi tarika hota hai jaise aap apni management ki books mein padhte hain ke there are four activities of management planning leading coordinating and controlling so aap kahin bhi jayenge to aapne ye char activities hi karni hai aur in char activities ko ek hi standard tarike se kiya ja sakta hai halanki aise nahi hai the management ways management uh, activities and management techniques they are different in different parts of the world uh, sometimes you need to Uh, and and that is a, that is something which is affected by the national culture and the dimensions of national culture which vary from one place to the other for example if the culture is individualistic there would be a diff- different way to uh, you know manage the people uh, similarly we uh, discussed the leadership skills of a person and we talked about the inherent generic leadership skills uh and leadership actions and behaviors and then their specific manifestations ke uh leader ki intentions to ek hi hoti hain uh wo apne followers ki aur organization ki success hi chahta hai lekin wo kis tarah se unko present karta hai ye har um, jo mashra hai aur har society hai har culture hai usme different tarike se wo unko present karega ki kisi jagah pe wo unko personal Um, जो है वो इंगेज uh, करके पर्सनल उनके मामलात में इंटरेस्ट लेके तो ये शो करेगा कि वो कंसर्न्ड है लेकिन अगर वो यही चीज किसी और कल्चर में जाके शो करता है तो ये चीज लोग पसंद नहीं करेंगे सो देर इज देर इज एंड यूनिवर्सल अप्रोच टू मैनेजमेंट सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ अ मिथ बट ऑन द अदर हैंड द फ्लिप साइड ऑफ द क्वन इज दैट देर इज ए काइंड ऑफ Uh, convergence because of a general management literature which is being applied globally uh, so you know ke management ki jo books hain uh, wo globally uh, aap padhte hain aur har jagah pe wohi books aur wohi paradigms jo hain wo um, padhaye jate hain aur discuss kiye jate hain so lekin uske andar culture uh, cultural amalgamation jo hai wo definitely hoti hai aur Uh, although there is convergence this is something that we discussed that um, management practices they are going towards convergence but there is always a flavor of uh, cultural differences in in those management practices so uh, this needs to be when you are selecting people in an international scenario you need to understand and person who is being selected needs to understand that there isn't a universal approach to management the second myth myth number 2 is that people can acquire multicultural adaptability and behaviors uh this is another myth that everybody is capable enough that they can adapt and be flexible uh to the cultural differences sometimes certain people they are more flexible uh towards and and then there are certain people uh, certain nationalities who are more flexible 
towards um towards understanding and adapting to new and different behaviors and cultures for example in previous topics we discussed that german people they are more uh, um, they are more ready uh, and willing to um, to adapt to new techniques and new styles of behavior even if that they are in opposition with their own ways with their own traditional ways uh but there are certain nationalities in which people they are not ready to be flexible and give in to the cultural changes and differences so uh, it is not a universal fact that people will be able to acquire multicultural adaptability and behaviors people are limited their personalities by their backgrounds by their exposures by their experiences so it is it uh, when you are selecting people for an international location you need to evaluate this fact that whether this person is going to be uh, adaptable to the cultural differences and cultural shocks so this is the myth number 2 which creates an issue for international selection now myth number 3 is that there are common characteristics shared by successful international managers so this is another myth that if a one one person has been uh, has been successful in an american scenario or in a european scenario that person is going to be successful in an arabian scenario as well well uh, because the cultures are completely different from each other uh, a person who may be adaptable in one scenario may not be adaptable in another scenario so uh, there are no standard uh or sim uh, um, shared characteristics of uh, successful international managers for each location for each um, nationality for each culture you need to select person who is uh, adaptable for that particular culture so it is possible that one person who is um who is adaptable to one culture may not be adaptable to another one so this myth if you stick to that as a human resource manage uh, human resource manager in an international context if you stick to this myth you are going to make wrong decisions and then uh, myth number 4 is there are no impediments to mobility uh, that people will be ready to be mobile people will move from one place to the other uh, if you are able to select a very potential and a skillful person for a particular position that was and you appoint that person that person is going to just pack his bags and move to the next uh, to the location you want to send them and there is no problem of mobility because there is a sense an impression that well because there is globalization and uh, you know it is so easy to travel it is so easy to communicate uh, it is so easy to keep in touch and be connected so people will not be hesitant to move from one place to the other but this is another myth because people uh, are very much hesitant to change their locations because of their so many responsibilities then people have attachment with uh, certain places they are attached to their homes to their families to their parents to their relatives friends social circle uh, and all these things so it's something which is, uh, this myth that there are no impediments there is there is there is no obstacle in mobility it is a myth which is wrong and people who are being selected for international locations they must be evaluated their readiness should be evaluated and their even their family's readiness should be evaluated whether they are ready to let them go or whether they are ready to move with them or you know some uh, similar issues like that so this myth if you keep this myth that uh, um, you can select any type of person for an international location for an international assignment that that is something which is going to be a wrong decision on your part so this is another myth which is which creates issues for international recruitment and selection so these myths or this these myths of uh, um the um of the global manager impression they are an issue for international selection and recruitment